Okay, the final topic in hypochromic macrocytic anemia is sideroplastic anemia. Okay, this is the final one or the final cause of hypochromic macrocytic anemia. Imagine with me there is a mitochondria inside the cell or usually the cell composed of mitochondria and cytoplasm and nucleus. So the, there is here it is uh, here it is mitochondria and outside the mitochondria you have a cytosol. Usually and now I'm going to talk about the steps of heme synthesis. I will escape some because some of them is important for biochemistry. This is usually starts succinyl CoA lead to aminolavulonic acid and there are some intermediates and finally lead to the production of proto porphyrin and from protoporphyrin the final step is heme synthesis usually this is our target the problem what not sorry not the problem what the enzymes here you will need from succinyl coa to amino lavulonic acid you need b6 and you need amino lavulonic acid synthase which is basically is the enzyme and amino lavulonic acid needs amino lavulonic acid dehydrase which is basic which is in the cytosol dehydrase and there are to convert into other intermediate in the cytoplasm and from this intermediate we will reach to the protoporphyrin in the mouth so here you need iron to be incorporated into protoporphyrin to produce him okay so what are the defects now imagine if you have defect in in this pathway or in this pathway so what is the end result the end result you will have and more and I, several iron in the mitochondria if iron is trapped if iron is trapped in the mitochondria this will lead to iron trapped into mito in the mitochondria this is the this is the pathophysiology or this is the pathology my to chondria. This is the problem. If iron will trap into the, in the mitochondria, that's mean. Uh, that's mean sideroplastic anemia. How the iron trapped in the mitochondria? Or how how I have excess iron in the mitochondria? First, if I have a problem with the mitochondria itself, that's mean toxicity in the mitochondria by alcohol. So alcohol damage or toxic mitochondria. Okay damaged or toxic the mitochondria second if i have b6 deficiency for for example if someone take inh inh which is isonazide it's a kind of a drug used in treatment of tuberculosis lead to the decrease b6 and b6 if i have decrement in b6 that means succinyl coa will not go to amino lavulonic acid and i will and i will not have enough amount of protoporphyrin so the iron will not incorporate it into protoporphyrin the iron will increase and the iron trapped in the mitochondria what else if i will have more lead that's mean lead poisoning here lead will lead to the inhibition of the amino lavulonic acid dehydrase as a result of this i will not have so i will not have proper amount of protoporphyrin again so in this case iron will not incorporate it into protoporphyrin the iron increase in the mitochondria to several amount lead to the iron trapped in the mitochondria so look how all of these pathophysiological mechanisms are essentially the same just you have you have problems with the causes either alcohol or b6 deficiency or lead maybe you have a problem with, maybe you have also you have also a problem like inherited inherited the problem with the micro uh, with the mitochondria itself this is the inherited type of megaloplastic any uh, of first hydroplastic anemia on the right side and all of these causes are acquired acquired causes of sideroplastic anemia how this will appear in the bloodstream uh, imagine this is the nucleus and around the nucleus you will see blue granules and the blue granules which is dark granules represent what represent iron trapped in the mitochondria